people welcome back to this channel now due to your demand guys i decided to repeat on how to to wire a doll starter a doll starter i'm, I'm going to wire it for a single face but uh, i'm going to use uh, this thermal relay the overload then uh, we have uh, the start button then uh, we have uh, the stop button then we have one contactor then uh, this one will be my motor okay then my main come from here so come near as we start okay guys i'm going to to wire this one so you see it is like this so you start it this way that way then you So let me wire my motor. So my motor. So remember, it's a, a single phase. So I'm going to use. You see, here we have three terminals, but I'm going to use two terminals because I have a single phase. So I'm going to choose any terminal. So I'm going to take the T1. This T1 L1 comes direct down here. So I'm going to use it. it says for my neutron we use the L2 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 tujaribu kufanya so we my neutron so let me give Let me connect my supply. Let me connect my supply from this double pole here. So that one, as you can see, so guys, so guys, I'm going to see if my if my so i'm going to make sure that uh, this bulb i want it to be controlled by by this start and stop button so guys <coughs> you see uh so i want i want to wear these ones so kindly bear with me as i also uh, I'm going to give this this ones you take a wire you pick your you pick power from from the common from the live here you see so you come you see where it is written uh, 95 normally closed you use the normally closed terminal 95 96 so at 95 here you wire it there wire it there so 95 so then pick another wire you pick another wire you see now from that 96 we pick from 96 again from uh, 96 from 96 now you see this this uh t1 
these buttons we have the stop and the, we have the start so we have it is written normally close to one two then normally open three four so number one here from 95 to number one here where you are to put one put one you see then from number two from number two you see from number two you give to you have from number two to number three here number three of the start button number three of the start button number three of the stop button then you pick another cable another cable uh, you see now from number four from number four from number four uh, from number four you give to you see now here let me show you see now you see this a2 you see you give it to a2 you give it to a2 you connect to a2 from number four then uh, you, you pick another another small wire another small wire You pick another small wire. <coughs> you loop. You see, you wire it to normally, normally open to A2. You see. So, guys, as you can see, <coughs> so I'm going to give my contactor coil the neutral part so I'm, I'm not giving it the, the neutral so I'm going to pick it from this terminal where I wired my main neutral I'm going to give it from there uh, then I give it to A2 down here you see yeah give it from down here and you make sure it is uh, tight so it's time I see if I can start <coughs> my motor. So I, 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 I want to test it. I see if I can start my motor. Now you say I can start it, but yet I've not done with it because uh, it is not self-holding itself. So you want to connect a self-hold a self-hold wire. You you choose you, you may use the terminal two or terminal uh, three, you see three in our case let me use let me use uh, th uh three here so first of all i switch off so i'm adding a cell fold cell fold you see that wire then you see down here you come where it is written normally open number 14 of your contactor where it is written normally open then you you connect your you connect your wire or cable so that one you've made this we've made this data we've made this uh to self-fold itself we've made it to self-fold itself so i'm going to put on then you see it is self-holding then we stop then we start you see then we stop so if you want to use for in case a, a saving machine you just come you disconnect this so you see you then you stop
but if you want it to self hold you you connect it permanently that one is how we wire we wire a doll we wire a doll starter connection on a doll starter for a single phase motor using a, a, a thermal relay and two buttons the stop one the, the stop one and the start one so guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this now thank you bye